Good morning and welcome to our Thursday Reflection. This morning we're going to be looking at poverty and the poor. Right from the very beginning, it was always God's intention that his people should be a blessing to others. Jesus so beautifully demonstrated this in both word and action, through the stories he told, the teachings that he gave, and the gift of both listening to people and healing them. He declared of himself that he did not come to be, a, be served, but to serve and give his life to rescue many people. His sacrificial death on the cross was a unique and unrepeatable act of, of love. We too are called to many little deaths as we practice the disciplines of service in giving our, of ourselves to others. Deuteronomy is a record of Moses' address to Israel on the eve of their entry into the Promised Land. It's a book that reaffirms their status before God and his covenant with his servant people. Every year they were to bring a tenth or tithe of their harvest in worship and every third year they were to give that tithe to support those who could not work, including widows and orphans. Deuteronomy 14 28 and 29 says every third year instead of using the tenth the ten percent of your harvest for a big celebration bring it into the town and put it in a community storehouse the levites have no land of their own so you must give them food from the storehouse you must also give food to the poor who live in your town including orphans widows and foreigners if they are enough to eat then the, God, the Lord your God will be pleased and make you successful in everything you do. Consider who you can serve today. Who do you know who is not able to work or support themselves? Who has been made redundant, of sick or recently had a baby and would benefit from your kindness and help today? Philippians 2, 6-11 says, Christ was truly God, but he did not try to remain equal with God. Instead, he gave up everything to become a slave when he became like one of us. Jesus was humble. He obeyed God and even died on the cross. Then God gave Christ the highest place and honoured him, honoured his name above all others. So that the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, everyone will bow down. Those in heaven, on earth and under the earth. And to the glory of God the Father, everyone will openly agree Jesus Christ is Lord. With the lockdown we are now living under, there are many people in need today. Our local food bank is now helping three times as many people as they were just six weeks ago. People are losing their businesses, out of work and have been furlonged. The only way to feed their families is with the help of the food bank. And how do our food banks operate? With the help of you kind and generous people in our churches, schools, local clubs and organisations and Joe Public who donate, who donate food so generously to the collection boxes in our local supermarkets like Asda, Sainsbury's and Lidl's and people who donate financially directly to the Weybridge Food Bank and Storehouse. These generous gifts are putting the love of Jesus that Jesus taught us in the Bible into action. In James 2, 14 to 17, it says, What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? Suppose, suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you say to them, come in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it's not accompanied by action, is dead. Mother Teresa put it another way. Prayer in action is love and love in action is service. Try to give unconditionally whatever a person needs in that moment. The point is to do something however small and show you care through your actions by giving your time. We are all God's children so it's important to share his gifts. Do not worry about why problems exist in the world. Just respond to people's needs. We feel what we are, are doing is just a drop in the ocean. But that ocean would be less without that drop. Very wise words. 
Let us pray. Father in heaven, forgive us when we have been less than we should, should be as your hands and feet on this earth. The world is suffering with illness, pain, hunger and extreme poverty. We pray that you will enable us to help where we can and to take your love in action, out to be of service in the name of Jesus. We pray in his name. Amen.